What's up guys? So today we're going to be doing something I haven't seen a whole lot of people do. So we're going to be trying to fix a body here. I've got a bunch of cracks in it. See it's completely split over here. So the first thing we did was take it over to the sink and hit it with Dawn and wash everything up. Now we're going to use a two part epoxy to hopefully fix it. <laughs> We've also got some little strips of a uh, dryer sheet here, which uh, you'll see in a minute we're gonna use for some reinforcement. So first thing we're gonna do here is mix up this epoxy. It's a one-to-one, -one, so just the same amount of both. I usually like to use a little bit more hardener so that it uh, hardens a little faster. But if you're doing something thick, you wanna make sure it's one-to-one, -one, otherwise it could crack or bubble or any other horrible things. Not that much of that. Same amount of epoxy here, hardener. Oh, that might have been a little more hardener. Yeah. Back to jamming. Oh, I think that was way more hardener. Add a little epoxy to it. Go ahead and mix that up pretty good, usually for a minute or so. They uh, they do make stirs for the drill for this too, which is a good way to do it if you're gonna be pouring or something. But today we're just gonna be brushing it on, so we should be fine. All right, once we've got it mixed up there, use our brush and uh, I just happen to have the biggest brush I could find because that's what was at the dollar store for cheap so this brush is not gonna be savable but it's fine so we're just gonna go ahead and brush it on the area for this first one we just want a light coat once we've got our light coat on there we're gonna take one of our strips, press it over the area that we want, and make sure we've got it good and into everywhere. And then we'll go ahead and soak it down with epoxy. Make sure it's pressed down in there good. Come on, get where I want you to be. Let's put it like that. It's okay to get the stuff on yourself. It really doesn't, doesn't set quick or anything and uh, it just wipes right off of the rag. So we've got one, one piece down there. Let's go ahead and put another one just to make sure it's strong. If you want, you can be real precise about it, or you can just cut the overhang off when you're when it's hardened. Um, once it's hardened, you can also sand and paint this stuff as well. So just go ahead and get that second piece good and glued in there. It's kind of just like doing fiberglass, just on a smaller scale. So that one's pretty much done. Let that one harden. We'll move on to this other crack over here on the side. Same procedure, just going to start by wetting the area down everywhere that we want. 
And we'll take one of our strips, lay it down in there. Brush back over it. The reason we brush back over it is because it's gonna hold more and it's gonna get the air bubbles out of it. See how I'm kind of dabbing it here? That sometimes helps it to stick, but it'll also move it around on you. So just make sure it's where you want it to be and completely permeated with the epoxy there. We'll lay our second strip down. Try and stay away from my body hole. I don't want to have to cut that back out. Just another good dab. And just same thing. Just go ahead and soak it down. And uh, we'll just let that dry and harden, and that's pretty much going to be it. Also, want to be careful to make sure you uh, cover wherever you're going to work, because this is usually a messy procedure, and this crap does not like to come off of stuff. Alright guys, so uh, we'll let that harden and set, and uh, here in a few hours we'll come back to it, and I'll let you see how it turned out. What's up guys, so it's been 24 hours here, letting this dry, and we'll show you what we got. So you can see that's pretty sticky, pretty hard. Definitely doesn't flex that good. Nice little repair. Just a uh, quick little trim here, around here. You can see here on the outside you can't really see it too much but it would need a little paint to be touched up see I don't really care though because this is just a bash body that's gonna get broken again so I just thought I would share this method with you guys as a uh, way of fixing bodies obviously the more time you take the better the repair will be but uh, I hope this helps somebody out if it has uh, consider giving me a like and subscribe uh, Lotus Sport 20 and uh, we'll leave you with that right there and we'll see y'all later